So what we have here is a gear of the speedometer drive on a Laverda vintage motorbike. So unfortunately when the owner tried to press this onto the wheel it actually cracked. So you can just see it in the bore there. So I've been asked if I could do a repair. The only thing I could really do is to silver solder the crack um, to create a quite a strong joint. And then take some measurements and possibly bore it out to fit the wheel. The owner of the bike has decided he would like to use Loctite. So we just need to bore this out uh, to a slight clearance on the wheel. Next up a bit of flux to put on, ready for silver soldering. And conveniently I found this uh, spring which just about fits in there so I can put the spring in there and it just opens up that gap a little bit or opens up the crack a little bit so I can get some flux on. Point seven one, so point seven here. So I've got a gap about three thou, which is pretty good for the silver solder. So the idea is we'll get some silver solder in there, take the spring off, and let it go to its natural size. So this is a very rare part, actually, very hard to obtain, uh, not particularly easy to make because of this helical gear so if I mess this up and ruin the part I'll have to leave the country you'll get just one go at this put a bit of silver solar in there Okay, I think we're ready. Unfortunately the camera battery died before I finished the silver soldering. Anyway, once the silver solder was fully molten, I removed the spring to allow the crack to close up. Looking good. So 
So I'm just waiting for the wheel to arrive so I can machine this to suit. It only needs three or four thou out of the bore. So in preparation I've made up a little fixture. Um, I've machined it under size so I can put this in the lathe. Machine it to get this to fit in just nice. I've put a screw in there to keep this apart when I clamp it in the chuck. So once I get that uh, machine to fit inside there I can release the screw and then tighten the chuck a bit more and clamp it in. And hopefully that should keep it concentric. And I've cut off a bit of aluminium bar to make a plug gauge. So I'll machine this to the size required for the bore. So I just need the wheel to arrive. It's just perfect that. Right, I'm just sucking that screw off. It's running constantly within 0.03, which is a thou. I'm going to be using Loctite 648. The data sheet doesn't specify any particular gap required between the parts. It does give curing times for gaps of 0.05 to 0.25 millimeters. It does, however, give instructions for a slip fit, press fit, and shrink fit. I'm aiming for a slip fit with a gap of around 0.02 millimeters, i.e. 0.04 on diameter. It's perfect.